guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm actually here at Audi of Clearwater, and this is basically a once in a lifetime situation. We have the all new, very hard to find 2021 Audi RS6 Avant wagon. And what's even better about it, it's finished in probably one of my favorite colors in the palette that Audi offers, that Nardo Gray. But before we get into this German Euro muscle car of a wagon, let's talk about what's going on here. Audi, doing things that just kind of defy the laws of phys physics. When it comes to their rich racing history, the deep style and luxury that they bring to their vehicles, attention to detail that separates them from the rest of the pack. Now with this RS6 av Avant wagon, this is a vehicle that many people here in the United States thought that Audi was not gonna bring because quite frankly, wagons just don't sell very well. There's that SUV craze that keeps running rampant. But Audi decided to bring basically one per dealership. And the crazy news is, is that this one is available here at Audi of Clearwater. And like I said, I think the spec on it is absolutely perfect. Now this is gonna go up against that Mercedes AMG E63 S wagon that we have featured here on Radies Rides. It's also gonna go up, of course, against the Porsche Panamera. But I think one thing is for certain, this RS model already being very, very special and unique, taking it to that wagon level, I think just brings that extra uniqueness that is absolutely gonna separate you from the rest of the pack, especially when it comes to performance. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this 2021 RS6 Avant and find out should it be that German Euro performance car you should be parking in your garage. Right off the bat, the style. There's just something about Audi where they bring this muscular aggressiveness, but also with clean German styling. When we start at the front of the business, you're gonna get that wonderful upgraded, updated headlight design, absolutely stunning the way the size of the headlight housing fits perfectly with the front fascia into those flared fenders. That's probably one of my favorite touches is actually having that flared fender all the way down the side of the vehicle. We have LED daytime running lamps, LED headlights, of course. You work your way down, guess what? Functionality is the name of the game. You're gonna get fully functional intakes on each corner of the front end of the business and obviously all open function with a little bit of gloss black balances perfectly with Nardo Gray. As we come across the center grill, Audi is really the ones responsible for bringing that open grill design. I think whoever optioned this one is a genius. They went ahead and went with the blacked out badging, the auto union badge, those four German brands coming together like the blacked out touch. You have, of course, a forward facing camera, full functionality because remember we have twin turbo turbocharged goodness underneath that hood. My only zonk is going to be this non functional vent up top. I wish that they had some functionality out of this piece, but I get the style. This really goes back to those days when Audi was in rally racing and the World Rally Championship as it is known today. That is that overall style of design. You work your way down, you're gonna get more functionality and I love the way the front fascia extends off and then they put an extra bit of splitter there with the gloss black that runs along the bottom. Now, when we get up onto the hood, clean body lines. Look at the detail. So this piece right here runs into the body line on the hood and just goes right towards the windshield. Other than that, you're going to get your two on the four far edges. That's going to give you that visual reference point because I'm telling you right now, this is not only the ultimate grocery getter, but also one heck of a track performance vehicle. Now, as we come around the bend, let's see what we're working with with our RS6. So you're going to get these absolutely stunning 22 inch wheels. You have this flat gunmetal gray with the machined aluminum. Love the style. And then look at the size of those calipers. Gloss black with the RS badging on there. It's going to clamp down on those rotors that are over 16 inches in diameter. So think about that. You'll be able to stop on a Euro and give everybody change, whoever's around you. You're going to have cross drilled fully ventilated. Of course, we have adaptive dampers, all four corners. And the style just, I think, really sets it off perfectly with these Pirelli P0 tires to give you that grip. And then, of course, at the end of the day, what are we getting? We're getting the Quattro all-wheel drive. 
You'll notice the Audi Sport badging down there. And this being an RS model, remember, we're talking about Ren Sport, we're talking about Racing Sport, we're talking about all that rich pedigree. But just looking at this caliper, this almost looks like the size of a separate vehicle. That's how big that caliper is. Now, as we go down the side of the vehicle, that flared fender kind of tucks back in. No fake vents, nothing on the side. Gloss black on your mirror caps. Massive panoramic sunroof. My only Zonk, you know what it's gonna be. I wish that they would have just blacked out the whole roof, but you do have these flat black, very low, very slim roof rails. Gloss black top and bottom. Color match on the door handles, and look at how they did the side. Not only do you get a Nardo gray side sill extension, but then they finished it off with more aero with that extra sill, and this has all been proven in a wind tunnel. So this isn't something that they just slap on. They're like, oh, that looks good. Not only does it look good, but it functions as well. Coming towards the rear, just the way that you have that width. I think that's one of the things, when you compare this to the E63S wagon or the Porsche Panamera, those vehicles are kind of narrowed down the side. This really has those curves that you just want to rub your hands all over. As we get towards the rear, you're going to have that nice low roof spoiler. I love the way it's got a little bit of extra style to the top of it. Obviously, this is going to give us downforce. You have your color match shark fin antenna. They do have the wiper out here. I wish they would have tucked it under here, but there's just not enough room. So we'll just give that a half zonk. What I'm definitely not going to zonk are these drop dead gorgeous taillights. Full LED. Audi does some of the best headlights and taillights. And the reason why is it deals with all of their work at the 24 Hours of Le Mans, at the 12 Hours of Sebring. Blacked out on your Audi badge, look what we have. Ren Sport, that RS6 badging. And then working your way down, massive rear diffuser. Of course, we have that active exhaust. I love the oval cut shape. Very, very unique. You can make them louder. You can make them quieter. I say go all in and just make that V8 sing all day long. I am going to zonk, though, the fake vent going on. But other than that, this is a functional rear diffuser. And the rear width of this wagon is just literally sick. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see the heart of this German beast. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts. There is the bread and butter business. And right now I want to butter up a roll because this is nothing but power and also that sexy look. Very, very simple on the engine cover, but that's all you need with the RS badging, the Auto Union four rings. I'm loving that aluminum finish there and everything else just looks absolutely perfect. Talk about perfect, what are we looking at? We're looking at a four liter twin turbo V8, 591 horsepower, 590 pound-feet of torque. It is made it to an eight-speed automatic transmission, and that is an eight-speed only. I could just imagine this with a manual transmission, but boy, oh boy, you're not gonna be able to out-accelerate this thing. Zero to 60 in about three seconds flat. The quarter mile is gonna zoom by at 11 and a half seconds at 120 miles an hour. Top speed is 156 miles per hour, and that is governed when you think about it. The vehicle does weigh 5,031 pounds, MPGs, 15 in the city, 22 on the highway. And like I said, you're going to have all four corners, those Pirelli P0s, 285 on the width, 30 series sidewall on a 22-inch wheel. I just love looking underneath the engine compartment here. You could clearly see the attention to detail, the extra bracing at the firewall to stiffen up the front end the wires leading to those shock absorbers because we have adaptive dampers. But why don't we go ahead, if you're ready, I'm ready, let's fire up this wagon and hear what it sounds like. Right, guys I'm still pinching myself here because I can't believe I'm sitting in a 2021 RS6 Avant this thing is so rare right now it's probably one of the only ones for sale in the whole country so it was nice to track this one down I know you're saying well Joe I've been looking at the competition I even have been thinking maybe even an M5 competition I saw your review the car looked amazing but I'm really digging this one and I want this one how much is it MSRP is right at $118,000. Let's 
let's see what we get for that money to the door panels. Absolutely sexy. Remember how I told you that Audi pays attention to detail? Up top, you're gonna have that wonderful leather material with the stitching. The contrast stitching looks so elegant. You have the carbon fiber just spilled all over the side of the door panel there. The silver finishes, the Alcantara just adds that something, something. And guess what? Whoever spec this one, the tan leather, if you would have told me on the phone that this had tan leather, I'd probably say, ah, I don't know if that's going to work. It works. And you got a decent sized pocket there. One Bavarian pretzel. That's about it. And a bottle of Coca-Cola. But you know what? If this is my RS6, no way you are going to be eating or drinking in this particular car. Now, as we go from the door panel to the dash, that same wonderful material, that great German style with the stitch work, the carbon fiber style material, the silver. One of the things I'm still on the fence on when it comes to the Audi interiors, especially on this particular vehicle, is the amount of gloss black that they have. But I get it, they're trying to blend it all in to the infotainment. You got that Quattro reminder, let you know that you have all wheel drive and we have that emergency cargo net. What you're able to do is you can put a Twinkie in there, no matter what the G-forces are in this Avant, as you're going around the Nürburgring, your Twinkie will hold into place and nobody wants their Twinkie to go flying all over the inside of the car. When you get to the infotainment, you want numbers? Let me give you some numbers. Up top, we have a little over 10 inches of visual pleasure in that infotainment. You're gonna have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, navigation. And before I move on here, down below you have a little bit of eight inches worth of TFT display. Absolutely stunning. And if it looks busy, you'll get used to it real quick. Navigation with the touch screen. Let me go ahead and throw it in reverse. There's our backup camera. Very, very clear. You got the trajectory, which is awesome. You got the 360 cam, which is also very helpful. It allows you to have that functionality to make sure that when you're parking this sweet, beautiful wagon, that you're gonna be able to see fully what's around you. And then you're able to get right back. Simple, easy peasy. That's all it's gotta be. Drop down, like I said, a little over eight inches of more visual pleasure with all this functionality. Ventilated seats, heated seats, thank you Audi. And you have, of course, dual climate control. So simple to figure everything out. You got your drive select uh, switches here to go into those different modes, dynamic, auto, and comfort. You know here on Rady's Rides, if you see that curbing, we are leaving it in dynamic mode for sure. There it is, looking good. Continuing our way down, we have, of course, the required red trim because this is an RS6 or an RS model period. With the silver, you're gonna have perforated leather on this shifter. This is gonna control that eight-speed automatic. More of that carbon fiber style material. Two cup holders, and I am gonna zonk it. It would be nice to have a lid, but you have a 12 volt. And then when it comes to key fobs, great job on the key fob. It's got the RS badge there. Listen, you went big and you're getting to go home. Hopefully, if you told somebody you bought one of these, you're, you're gonna be able to go home, but, uh, or you might be sleeping in this car, but you do have the auto union badge. Nice, simple, that's all you need. And then armrest, it is as hard as a stale Bavarian pretzel, but it looks so nice, and the leather is wonderful. Lift that bad boy up, you got wireless charging, you got a place for at least one Snickers bar, a USB-C, actually two USB-Cs, and some felt lining, so you're not gonna scratch your Snickers. And then check out these seats. One piece back, the leather, and I'm telling you, the tan, it works. RS with that beautiful stitch work that Audi is known for. Of course, you're gonna have full electric assist for the passenger and the driver. And then to sum it all up, you have that dual split up of a sunroof. So you have the standard size one up front, and then the people in the back are gonna get their sunroof as well. Allows that nice open air experience as you're lapping Sebring and looking at your visual reference points. I got plenty of headroom, I'm six feet tall. I feel snug as a bug. Come on over here, I wanna show you behind the business end of this RS6. All right guys, this is the place that you're gonna to wanna to be. This is the business end of this RS6 Avant wagon. So very special. Now what's great is, is that you're actually gonna have a seat that has two memory settings, so you could let somebody borrow your RS6 Avant if you want. Plus, what I do like is the way Audi does a great job with their aluminum sills. Now, what they did here at Audi at Clearwater, they left the shipping film on there so it wouldn't get scratched for the next owner of this vehicle, RS6 with the ambient lighting, and Audi does a great job with ambient lighting. Seat controls, easy to get to. 
I like the silver finish. You got that lower lumbar. And what's great about these seats, perfect for everyday use, but you know what? You go do a track day, maybe even register for an autocross event, you're gonna show those people up. Especially if you have the skills, this Audi will be able to hang with your skill set and really give you that performance that you know that it's got. Tilt and telescoping, all electric on the steering wheel. And what's great about the wheel, you get that beautiful two piece leather. So you have separate leather top and bottom, and then you have the perforated on the side. The thickness is great. It doesn't need to be flat bottom. You got plenty of room in here for your legs. The RS badge, a little bit of silver. Look at how they did the Audi Auto Union badge with the perimeter design of that open grill setup. You have some gloss black switch gear and the RS mode, which I'll show you that in a second with the gauges. And then of course you have the paddles on the back of the wheel. Now they listened to Lady Rady's rides and they actually made the paddles a little bit larger, but they're still plastic. They look aluminum, but they are plastic. So I am going to zonk that. But one thing I'm definitely not going to zonk is that digital display that Audi is known for that virtual cockpit, 12.3 inches of beautiful pleasure right for your eyes. And then what's great is, is I have it in RS mode. So if you thought dynamic was where it was at, when you're in an RS branded vehicle, they have RS mode, which takes it to another level. You got a G meter, you got all your readouts, and then watch this, you hit view, bam. Now they bring everything right to the center. Super clear, super crisp graphics, and you have a head-up display. And the head-up display gives you a full tack and speedometer and even your coolant temp. But why don't we go ahead, let's see where your passengers are gonna be having the time of their lives as you're lapping Sebring, Watkins Glen, Circuit of the Americas, Laguna Seca, the Nürburgring in the back seat of this RS6 Avant wagon. All right, guys, we are in the back seat of the RS6 Avant. You're still gonna get that same great seating material back here, the style. Backs of the seats, that one piece back. You do have a small section of plastic and those pesky cargo necks, so I am gonna have to zont that. But the great news is you got plenty of room for the track maps, for the Nürburgring for your passengers to maybe help navigate you around that track because of how long it is, or maybe take them to the tail of the dragon. 318 turns and 11 miles, and this Avant will do it so wonderfully. Speaking of wonderful, you got a nice setup at the back of the center console with the AC vents, AC controls, real easy to use. Heated seats, but no ventilated seats. It would be nice if manufacturers would start putting ventilated seats in the back uh, for the backseat passengers at this price point, at least. Two USB-Cs and a 12 volt. And then of course, when it comes to room, I'm six feet tall, I haven't shrunk. Plenty of headroom. You have the security uh, shades on the side. Keep those peepers and creepers just out of your business. Speaking of business, this armrest is everything and the business. Lift it up, you got a nice little uh, cargo area here. You could dump literally a bag of Skittles, a one pound bag, and you're not gonna make the colors rub off because you have felt lining. Close that up, and then of course, what do we have? You got your cup holders built in, very seamless. But let's get to the cargo area because I am dying for some on throttle action. All right, guys, time to get into one of the biggest selling features. You know, you would think it's the V8 twin turbocharged engine, the all wheel drive. No, one of the biggest selling features of this vehicle is the cargo space. You're gonna go ahead, hit the button, nice electric assist. And what I love about wagons that you're not gonna get on an SUV, even an Audi SUV, is look at how low that rear bumper is. Easy for getting things in and out. And if you need space, you have plenty of it. That's 30 cubic feet of space. Look how wide the opening is. Lots of tall room in there to get those taller objects. And then of course, they give you that railing system. You have a nice cubby here for an emergency box of Twinkies. We also have our levers to pull the seats so that they go down. So you just pull one side. And then on the other side, you'll also notice you got more LED lighting, another handle that we're going to pull, seats fold down, and a 12 volt. So this could be also, that ultimate tailgating, beach going, wagon kind of day, and you'll be the first one there every single time. And if you're trying to, like I said, get your significant other or whoever you're living with to say, hey, let's go RS6 Avant, tell them you'll get the groceries for the rest of your life. And Joe Rady said that you deserve it. But you know what you deserve even more? If you're ready, I'm ready. 
let's go on throttle in this RS6. All right, guys, we are leaving out of Clearwater in this one of just maybe three in the whole country. So if you want this, definitely give Audi of Clearwater a call. Ask for Derek. He will take extremely good care of you with this vehicle, Nardo Gray, Drop Dead Sexy. Right away, it's just so comfortable. You know that when you get into an Audi product, all that attention to detail when it comes to the interior, not only does it look good, but it feels good when you're sitting inside the car. Getting to everything is a piece of cake. We have it in RS mode. That's gonna change that beautiful virtual cockpit. And the great thing is, is that when you wanna turn up the wick, you could turn up the wick. But if you wanna just, hey, go pick up the kids from school, take the wife or husband out to dinner, you have that flexibility and you could do it, really everything. This is the ultimate not only German muscle car of a wagon, but also the ultimate grocery getter. All right, guys, leaving away from this live, we're gonna do some gingerly on throttle. On throttle, here we go. Eight speed drops down, and you are off and running. The power, when you have that twin turbo setup, those turbos spool up very nicely. You're not waiting for boost. There's no lag in this setup. As soon as the eight speed drop down, you are off like a bat out of hell. And zero to 60 speaks for itself. Zero to 60 in around three seconds flat. And you could do that all day long with that awesome Quattro all-wheel drive system that Audi is just known for. I love the weight and the steering. It would be great to take this home and drive it for a month and really give you some great in-depth on this. But I do have to thank everybody at Audi of Clearwater, especially Derek, for allowing us the ability to just take this for a quick, quick spin because we're trying to keep it nice for its future forever homeowner. All right, guys, once again, let's go ahead. Odd throttle drops down and we are off and running. Nice, smooth shifts as we change lanes here. I really think that the chassis work that they've done really just feeds so well, communicates so well to the steering wheel, allows you to feel confident. And I'm telling you right now, the way that the all-wheel drive system is transferring the power front to rear, this vehicle is more real wheel drive bias. So you're gonna be able to square off those corners very well to give you the fastest exit. And you don't have to be on the racetrack. Now, obviously that's the safest way to do it, but if you got a few special twisty roads where you live, this will put a smile on your face ear to ear. All right, guys, even just pulling away from the light at a normal pace, the way that they've worked the sensitivity into the throttle is spot on the money. Seats are comfortable, got the ventilated seats on, your passengers have plenty of room. Just everything is well laid out in here as you would expect from a brand that's been doing the business for years. And when I say the business, we're talking about 24 hour Le Mans victories left and right, other big sports car wins, 12 hours of Sebring and everything in between. But I think one of my favorite things about this car is that you're gonna get that wonderful driving experience. With the adaptive suspension, you could be in comfort, you could be in dynamic. Obviously, like I said, we're in that RS mode, seeing the head up display, super, super clear. But we're gonna go ahead, hopefully this gave you just a nice little taste. You know, I wasn't here to give you a whole spoonful of RS, RS6 Avant today, at least today. Today is just a taste. We're gonna get back to Audi of Clearwater and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another great day here at Audi of Clearwater. I definitely wanna thank Derek and the rest of the crew here getting us access to this RS6 Avant. If you want one, they have one here, and it's literally just unbelievable. I'm still giggling like a little girl that this thing is still here and we got to take it for that spin. It really showcases what technology can do, that all wheel drive power, the twin turbo V8. Whew. If you want the ultimate grocery getter, you better try to track one of these down and at least take it for a test drive. It may change the way that you look at wagons forever. But if you wanna keep seeing performance vehicles like these on Radies Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description. 
get yourself some Radies Rise merch, click the second link, become a Patreon member for Radies Rides on the Patreon page. We gotta give a huge thank you, a huge shout out. She actually was thanking me, but we gotta thank Lori. She wanted to review this car so badly, capture it for you on camera, let her know that she did a great job because she does such an amazing job in this hot Florida sun. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.